What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller. So today is going to be a very interesting episode and judging by the title, uh, you guys are probably already confused. Like, what is going on? Well, one of the first companies I ever complained about on YouTube was not Shinola, it wasn't Movement and VMT, it wasn't even Invicta, it was actually Movado. That's right, I've mentioned it multiple times uh, throughout you know, my, my career as the time teller, uh, that I hate Movado, okay? That was like the first inside joke on this channel. And uh, people, you know, obviously you're gonna get some pushback whenever you express any opinion especially a very strong opinion, I hate this, there's going to be people that are like, why? Like, why? I like this company. Movado seems fine. Blah, 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 blah. Well, okay. If you want to know exactly why I dislike Movado, then, then click here and I kind of give you a little rundown of the history of Movado and what went wrong. But essentially, if, if you don't want to watch that episode, essentially what happened is uh, Movado made some really cool watches, like throughout time, no pun intended. Movado has released some really, really cool watches. Um, but then in the 80s, the company changed hands and uh, the company just went downhill, okay? It totally shifted the products that they were releasing and uh, the watches just were never the same, right? Even nowadays when they're releasing their heritage collection, they look a little bit more elegant but they're still cheap quartz watches that are overpriced and nothing like the original Movado. So as a concession um, to you guys, letting you guys know exactly, exactly why I hate Movado, I'm going to choose five Movados that I love and that I, that I would actually wear because the truth is there are Movados I would wear, um, but but they're not, you know, from the past couple decades. They're, they're very old. So let's go ahead and talk about it. It's 3.38 p.m. Let's get down to business. <laughs> All right, so I have a list here in front of me of my five favorite Movados. Um, I'm very excited to share them with you. First is the Movado reference number 14936. I mean, just look at this watch, right? There's not much not to like about a vintage triple date. Uh, beautiful triple date moon phase, very elegant, uh, just kind of old school class, right? Now this Movado reminds me of my ultimate grail, the Rolex 6062. Now these Movados are a bit more attainable than that that Rolex, but still, uh, these these Movado triple dates in good condition, they fetch a pretty penny. Again, just classic elegance. You can tell a whole lot went into this watch and just nothing like the current Movados. The second Movado I would actually wear is a 1960s reference number 281 sub C chronograph. All right, now this Movado is probably the most beautiful watch on the list, in my opinion. It's got that classic clean chronograph styling. Everything's very neat and tidy, very, very legible. Again, I would absolutely wear this watch, my favorite watch on the list. The third Movado I would happily wear is a Movado Daytron and it goes by HS360 and it's a chronograph. Now guys, if the last chronograph I just spoke about, that sub C from the 1960s, if that one was my favorite watch on the list, this Daytron is one of the most unique interesting watches on the list because this is from a time in orological history when Movado had a deep, deep relationship with Zenith. Ooh, oh. lovers. And the movement powering this Movado is actually the coveted El Primero movement. And just look at this build, right? It's very, very robust with those crown guards. It's got a date window up at the 12 o'clock. Very, very unique and just really cool and kind of tough. Now the fourth Movado that I really like is actually another sub C, but it's not the 1960s sub C, it's a 1970s sub C. Now if this watch does not absolutely scream 1970s vintage chronograph, I don't know what will. You gotta love the orange. again. It's very legible. Everything's pretty tidy, very sporty. You gotta wear this watch on either the bracelet or a rally strap. It's retro, it's racy, it's sporty, it's just cool. And again, it's nothing like anything Movado would make nowadays. And the fifth and final Movado on the list of Movados I would absolutely love to have in my collection. And I'm not kidding, I would own every single one of these at the same time. This is probably the rarest watch on the list and it has a very, very big reference number. Reference number 95704562. 
8. Now, upon first looks, it, it's got a very busy dial. But this layout, right, this design is also kind of a sign of the times. This, this chronograph is from the 1950s when they were still figuring out how to make interesting but very functional chronographs that would give you a lot of information. And again, you gotta wear this watch on that Milanese bracelet. It's just very elegant, um, still kind of busy, but very, very fun. And I keep saying it, guys, but the saddest part about this episode and the saddest part uh, upon examining each and every one of these Movados on the list is that you realize um, these are long gone, right? Your, your Movado's not going to release anything at all similar to these watches. Um, so for everybody, again, I've been on YouTube for a little over a year and a half. Uh, for everybody asking me why I hate certain companies, I think it's time that I fill you in. Um, I hate Movado currently because these watches are proof that currently Movado has just turned their back on their own history, right? They used to release amazing watches. Uh, now they release, you know, Movado bolds and everything has uh, just a plain dial with that stupid gemstone at the, at the 12 o'clock. It's just different, modern, ugly iterations of the museum watch. And as you can see here, I didn't even put a single museum watch on the list. So, um, yeah, just a huge bummer. Movado turned their back on their own history. Uh, here's proof. And uh, if you're interested in a Movado, at least choose one on this list. So in conclusion, would I ever wear a Movado? Yes, I would but it's gonna be one of these. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for sticking around and checking out this episode. Now, guys, if there's one that I missed, if there's a Movado that you would actually love to own, uh, leave me a comment, let me know, fill me in. We can kind of use this as a little database uh, for cool Movados. Again, not something you'd ever think T3 would say. Let's talk about Movados. But there are some cool ones out there, so leave them in the comment section, and I wanna hear from you. And guys, if you wanna support the channel and go above and beyond, then click the link in the description below and check out the time tell shop. I do not have any Movados there, uh, but I do have some other really cool watches and I got watch accessories like watch straps, watch winders, watch toolkits even. The one-stop shop for the watch collector like you. So support the channel, click that link, shop around, and I will love you for it. And if you're new here, if this is your first time joining us here at the Time Teller channel, then thank you so much for stopping by, but let's take this one step further. Click that subscribe button, click that bell icon so you do not miss an episode of the Time Teller. And uh, yeah, guys, what are you doing? Like, comment, subscribe, shop at the Time Teller shop. I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller, and always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Real quick, if you enjoyed this episode, then do not worry. The fun doesn't need to stop here. Check out these recommended episodes that are gonna be popping up on the screen anytime now. Also, take a moment, check out my brand new channel, the Time Away channel. It's where I talk about everything outside of the watch world, some of my other collections, some of my other hobbies. And if you're not interested in any of that, don't worry. Just stay right here and I will see you right here. Because I, I never leave. I am trapped inside of this camera.